This is a brand new GWB 1005, and I'm going to spend some time uh, showing you how I set it up and uh, give you some pointers along the way. Nice, look at that. I might have to keep this one. So the base comes with its own set of tools. It's got an Allen wrench for the truss rod adjustment. This blue one here is the Allen wrench uh, adjustment for the pickups and the ramp. This green one here adjusts the saddle screws. First thing you want to do is remove the ramp. Uh, now what we want to do is uh, check the truss rod adjustment. That means holding the A string against the neck with your elbow and then fretting the first fret with your first finger. Um, if that is done properly, you get a perfectly straight line to measure how much relief is in the neck. This one is not bad. I would say it's less than a millimeter, so let's leave it like it is for now. That's great, out of the box it's set up. So uh, The next thing you want to do is check the pickup height. I need the pickup to be very close to the strings, so I'm gonna let I'm gonna raise the pickup. And you just kind of use your judgment, make sure that it's about the same from one side to the other. If you get a consistent distance from string to string, then you're pretty much guaranteed that the string to string volume is gonna be properly functional. That feels pretty good. Um, you can you can make sure that the pickup is, is adjusted correctly by checking to see if it's parallel to the string when you fret the 24th fret. So this one, if you look at it, I can see that the front is a little higher. So I'm going to lower the front and raise the back a little bit. And you have to do this with, with both top and bottom screws. Now the pickup is parallel to the string when it's fretted at the 24th fret. Now that that's set up, we can put the ramp in. But since I'm raising the pickup, um, it's going to need a little material to hold it up against the screws. So you can use cardboard, you can use, doesn't, doesn't need much. Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, so you want to make sure that the ramp is adjusted to match the height of the pickup at the back, but still keep that parallel angle to the string when it's fret of the 24th fret. So I'm going to do the back first and just by feel check that it's the same height as the pickup when you move your hand across it. That's a little high. Okay, that feels good. Now fret the 24th fret and That could be a little tighter. Okay, so now you've got a consistent playing surface from here to here. One thing you need to look for when you're, when you're setting up a bass or you're putting on new strings is that heavier strings like the B, E, and A string sometimes don't want to take the bend necessary to go over the saddle, like this one here is kind of coming over the saddle, bending a little bit, and then straight. So what you want to do is just give it a push, like that. So now that string is straight. Same thing with the E string. Not much. There we go. All right, so now we can check the, the action. You want the strings to follow the curvature of the neck, so you can actually look at it and roll it towards you, and sh you should see each string appear consecutively over the horizon. And that's what this one is doing. So I'm going to raise the B string just a touch more. And that should be pretty playable. To set up the uh, intonation on a fretless, you have to make a decision of where you want your finger in relationship to the fret line to be in tune. Pretty much most people do it dead center. I learned the hard way that even though I prefer my finger here, it creates problems up and down the neck, makes it more difficult to play in tune. You'll have an easier time playing in tune if you set it up dead center. Tune up the harmonic at the 12th fret, play it at the 12th fret, dead center. 
you observe if, if it's sharp or flat. If it's sharp, like this one is, then the string is too short, and so you need to lengthen the string, and that means tightening this screw, and you'll end up with a longer string. And that should move the center of the string where you want it. Always retune after doing that. If it's flat, that means the uh, string is too long. You need to shorten it. So you unscrew here, push the saddle forward, tune up the harmonic, play it again, and check it. Mm -hmm.